Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I bring you the capo di capo of smoking robots, and that is the elusive, highly sought after green version. But before I show you this green version, take a second to subscribe. You'll be glad you did because these are the greatest toys on the internet, bar none on this channel. So with that out of the way, I finally uh, have been able to reacquire, I used to have a dead, dead mint green smoker in a very rare version of the box. I believe it was the crooked letters called Smoking Robot. Uh, I've only seen that box variation twice in like decades, so it was extremely rare. Now, this one is in nice condition. Is it great? No. Is it like a nine? No. Is it a 10? No. <laughs> it's more like a seven and a half. But, you know, be that as it may, it's still so difficult to find it. I said, you know what? Beggars can't be choosy. And I will, uh, I will take what I can get for now. And it's not too bad. There's nothing glaringly wrong with it. Just a few scratches here and there. And the operation's a little wonky. But anyway, what makes the green, like the blue, so desirable? Well, for one, the color is very cool. Green. And how many green robots do you see? Not that many. And this particular one has the different switch, like the blue. It doesn't have that metal slide switch. It has this plastic side switch with this extra protruding housing around the switch. So that's different from all the rest of the smokers, other than the, um, the uh, reproductions. And uh, an interesting story, when Tom Toys made his reproduction, I had my green one and I showed him that his switch was wrong. So he had like a mock-up with a silver slide switch and he changed it to the uh, plastic switch, believe it or not, on his green one. And anyway, the, then the other, uh, the other nice feature of the blue and the green are these lithograph dials and the Y logo right there. So that's what makes it cool. This particular one looks to be all original. And like I said, it doesn't work all that great. The smoking is phenomenal. It actually, you know, I'm, I'm afraid it's gonna set off my smoke alarms. Uh, but the main problem is this switch doesn't really slide all the way. You kind of can force it a little bit, but let's, let's see what it does. And I might hold the camera up it might uh, be a little better. But first, let me get see if I can get him started. That wasn't too bad. And for a change, you can actually see the smoke. Oh, wow, he is smoking up a storm. Well, gotta love the smell of that burning oil. Anyway, let me see how tight that was. Actually, it, it, it slid a little bit easier than the first couple of times. We see how tight that was. Anyway, without burning out the bulb, uh, I'm glad we were able to uh, to show him in, his, in all his glory. Let me just move this camera here. And anyway, that was, my friends, your very rare original 1950s green version of the Yonzawa Smoking a Spaceman. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this particular video, leave a thumbs up, leave any re remarks. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a question. And I am looking for a couple more original smoking robot or smoking spaceman boxes. So if you happen to have one, contact me. I'd be more than happy to buy it off of you. Anyway, with that said, thanks as always for joining me. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you later.